Well, the, the real confirmation that I made the right choice was when I was then doing my ophthalmology residency, which is the specialty training period that happens after medical school, and that was in St. Louis at St. Louis University. And there was a lecture in my first year of a doctor, um, Jim Sauls, who actually practices here in Los Angeles. And he came out, he was an invited lecturer, he was doing an FDA study for a new type of laser procedure called PRK that can reshape the cornea and correct people's eyesight for glasses and contact lenses. And as I sat in that lecture and I was, it just like sung to me that th this whole area, because it was a very new area. Um, there was no lasers really, there was no lasers outside of clinical trials being done in the United States. And I thought this is an area that I want to start researching because there's so much that has yet to be discovered compared to the other specialties of ophthalmology like retina or cornea at that point, um, glaucoma. You know, most of the things, there weren't a lot of potential, especially for a resident who's a sort of a newbie in the field, still training to do research and make significant contributions. So I ended up doing refractive surgery research and um, made a lot of headway in even the young training stage that I was, and I really loved it. And that's how I even knew what specialty I was going into, which was cornea and refractive surgery. And so eventually when LASIK got, you know, became the main procedure, uh, replacing PRK for most, most uh, types of patients, um, did a lot of research with LASIK, and then eventually moved into cornea research with keratoconus research as well. And that was sort of my path. And uh, I know that's why I'm on the planet, is be doing what I'm doing. And that's just so crystal clear in my mind and has been for a long time.